What's up everyone, my name is Jalen Brunson and I just wanted to come here and remind you that you are literally a moon goddess. Yes, literally, you're a moon goddess. And I also wanted to say that right now I'm on my period and it is absolutely painless. I want to reinstate and really get women to understand that your period does not have to be painful. It is a myth, it is a curse, it is a psychological curse that this society tries to put on us that tries to tell us that our periods are meant to be painful and that pain is normal. Pain is only normal because this society doesn't teach us how to properly dive into our divine femininity and how to honor our womb, how to honor the inner goddess within us. As women, will we honor the inner goddess within us and we connect to our womb, we connect to our yoni, we understand her, we love her, we show her beautiful energy, guess what? She will not bring us pain. She will not bring us bad pregnancies. She will not bring us painful periods. She will not bring us all kinds of issues, you know, vaginal issues like yeast infections, BV, whatever the case is. When we honor her, when we heal her, she will bring us bliss. She will bring us attraction power. She will bring us magnetism and she will allow us to fully step into our divine feminine essence. So yes, my baby, understand this. Your period does not have to be painful. Right now it's full moon in Aries and I am feeling amazing and I'm on my period, baby. And I feel electrifying. I feel like I have all the energy in the world and I wanna give this to you guys. And I wanna basically deliver you guys five tips or some tips that can help you to connect with this womb so that you don't have to have painful periods, so your life doesn't have to suck and you can have a beautiful connection with your womb because when you have a beautiful connection with your womb, listen, it all starts from here, right? Life starts from here. So once you connect with her, you can actually start to influence your life in beautiful ways. But let's dive in. Our periods are a time when we are especially sensitive. We are extra sensitive, but sensitivity is not a bad thing. I talk about this in my magnetism video. Sensitivity is not a bad thing. Sensitivity is everything. Without our senses, we will not be able to feel anything in this world. And without feeling, this world is empty. It's lifeless. But the sensitivity that gets, you know, amplified when we're on our cycle is meant so that we can do the healing work with ourselves because honestly, the period, okay, this period is a period for you to heal yourself, for you to transform yourself, for you to do shadow work on yourself. And that's why as women, we have one because naturally we are connected to the moon, okay? And, you know, like we have our period, you know, once a month, you know, the moon cycle, you know, the lunar cycle every 28 days, our period every 28 days, there is a connection there right but we're connected to the moon which you know really represents our subconscious mind so when we have our period really it's supposed to be a time of deep introspection shadow work releasing what no longer serves us and then once we do that we move into a phase when it comes to our period where we are literally just electrified we have all the energy in the world we're feeling super connected to our femininity and we understand that how powerful we are how intuitive we are our psychic gifts get amplified baby your intuition will start speaking to you louder than words and if you really want to release your blockages you can on your period it's supposed to be a time where your sensitivity increases so that you know what to let go of so that you can flourish the only reason why your life isn't where you want it to be is because you have blockages in your subconscious that are causing you and stopping you from moving forward in the way in the, in the place that you want to be and where you want to go so the period is a gift it's a time of sacred healing, okay? And when we get extra sensitive, that's why we get the PMS symptoms and why we're supposed to be all moody. Society says we're all moody and bitchy when we're on our period. It's because we're so sensitive when we're on our period. It's because we literally take on everybody's energy around us and sometimes that energy isn't the best. It's when all of our traumas, all the things that we haven't dealt with come to the surface so that we can release. It's a time and period when we are allowed to actually take care of our body and we are shown exactly where we need to heal. The moment that you switch your mindset with your period, guess what will happen? Your period is going to be a ritual. It's going to be a sacred ritual for you to, to dive back into this spirit that is within you. 
But that's where it starts, healing sessions. The key to painless periods and having a beautiful period is healing sessions. So when you have pain, when your periods are terrible, instead of going straight to the medicine counter and getting your Advil, whatever the case is, because think about have it, taking Advil um, every month for the rest of your life. Think of you know the potential effects that actually could have on you. Instead of blocking out the pain, take one time to feel into the pain to breathe into the pain, almost breathe into the pain, breathe into the womb and show that part of yourself, that pain that's trying to tell you something, show that pain that you are listening, that you are understanding, that you're listening, you're understanding it and you're here to support it, to listen to it and to see what it has to say to you. The more you get used to breathing into the pain, the pain doesn't have to be painful anymore because it knows you're gonna pay attention. So practice breathing into your cramps, breathing into your pain, and I guarantee you, not and if not within that first session, but as you do this every period, you'll notice that your pain will get easier. And honestly, when you do this, when you put your hands on your womb area, your lower stomach, and you just allow yourself to breathe into the pain, you'll probably think of some memories. Memories will probably easily come up, okay? Past relationships will come up, people that will come up that are going to be basically your blockages. Things that are stopping you from moving forward effectively in your divine feminine energy. And once you are able to acknowledge it, that's how you're able to let go of it. Two. You want to heal your mom energy. So when we talk about mother energy, we're talking about our energy, especially if we decided to incarnate in this individual body with a womb as a woman, okay? Or we feel like we're a woman, whatever the case is. Now understand that your mom is your divine feminine energy, okay? Your dad is your divine masculine energy. That's why we have masculine and feminine energy. But since we incarnated here as women, we naturally gonna probably lean towards womanhood naturally but we can still dive into our divine masculine and divine feminine. Not everybody has the best relationship with their mom. Not everybody has, you know, quote unquote, good mother. Not everybody has a mom who's living her best life. So one of the best ways to heal this womb area, which is your sacral chakra energy, because your sacral chakra also is your ability to give birth as a mother. You have a mother with inside you, and you also have a mother inside in your life. You know what I mean? Whether you know her or not, whether you have a good relationship with her, whether you like her, it's not for you. It's, it is not for her. It is for you. You want to sit, put your hands on your belly once again. You want to breathe into your belly, okay? And then I want you to visualize your mom living her best life. I want you to visualize your mom being free, being happy, really giving you the love that she, that she has within herself and giving that towards you, having a beautiful connection with her, understanding that your mom, even though she may be somebody that you don't necessarily like all the time, your mom is a human being and she has her faults and she has her traumas that she hasn't dealt with either. So have grace for her. And also just visualize her being in a happy state of mind, feeling good, feeling blissful, really doing everything that she wants to do, feeling like she is enough, feeling like she is beautiful. See your mom in that state and then see your mom giving that energy towards you. Whether you know her like that or not, visualize her call her presence in because that is your dna that you're activating within yourself and healing that part of your dna you do that that's going to heal your womb area watch what happens when you're when you get your period next time around your periods will be painless three let go of past relationships i want you to reflect on your past your past relationships and i talk about this in my awaken your inner goddess course how to let go of cords so you want to let go of cords and release those cords from your life. And this is just in a deep meditation once again, release those cords and then watch what happens. Release those negative emotions from your past relationships. Release the toxicity that came from past relationships that you were in. Watch what happens when you get on your period. Four, let go of past sexual trauma. So if you were raped, if you were molested, if you felt like you, know, you were having sex with people that you didn't really wanna say yes to but you didn't say no at the same time, if you were in a relationship where you were not you know, sexually satisfied whatever the case is this can have a very deep effect on your womb 
So you want to clear that space and you want to connect with that space and to remind that space that this space is sacred, that this space is safe, and that this space is nurtured. A lot of the times when we don't handle that space, we don't clear out that space, we have a lot of gunk, we have a lot of demons within us that kind of it expresses itself in different ways, whether it's STDs, whether it's, you know, infections, whether it's not feeling orgasmic and not experiencing orgasm, whether you feel numb down there, you don't feel anything during sex whether it's it could be a lot of different things infertility whatever the case is holding on to the toxicity in your womb will once again it's going to cause more painful periods because you have a lot to release and then it's also going to cause you to not even be orgasmic and to not catch you connect with your orgasm and your orgasmic potential that's why i made that video talking about how i struggled with orgasming and how i overcame that one of the biggest things that helped me to do that was using yoni eggs okay and yoni eggs are available on my site oh my god i love yoni eggs these eggs that you insert into your vagina these crystals that has it's an ancient practice when i did this oh my god it was such a it was such a healing practice so check out my store mysticmommy.com i'm gonna talk about that later too basically connect with her connect with the womb and release um past trauma you do that by feeling into it and if you need counseling you need counseling but also allow yourself to understand that you can heal yourself as well and fill into that past trauma that discomfort that could be in your womb space bring up those emotions and then release it into the void in front of you almost imagine black in front of you and black is not evil black is empowering black is the feminine archetype and energy the void is powerful like a black hole you put stuff in there it disappears it disappears into nowhere okay so you take all that energy and you throw it into that black hole and that is going to transmute it okay period. Five, you want to have internal orgasms regularly. If you have internal orgasms regularly, first of all, this is going to activate that divine feminine energy. They don't teach us about this stuff because they don't want women connecting to herself. They don't want women to understand her power. But once you understand your power, if you have more orgasms internally, so penetrative orgasms, whether you're with a partner or with yourself, whatever the case is, especially with yourself, you can have healing sessions with yourself. You can release a lot of that trauma naturally when you climax, okay? You release energy and a lot of the times they tell us that we're not supposed to be orgasming all the time but that's real, more so for men honestly as women we are created to be very orgasmic to have multiple orgasms and to keep on going and going so the more that we do this this is actually going to help you and it's scientifically proven to actually help you have less painful periods but um orgasms can actually be incredibly healing especially if you set that intention before but we gonna talk about that in Awakening Inner Goddess, okay? Check it down below in the description box. We gonna talk about it. Sign up to get notified. So then the next step and the next phase of this after you do the healing work is yoni self-care you want to get into yoni self-care the more that you woo i'm about to fall the more that you get into yoni self-care the more that this is going to help you to heal your womb and to be in love with her and to understand that she's sacred the first thing that i got into and started doing recently was yoni steaming which is the act of taking specific herbs and you know boiling them on a pot and then sitting over it and letting the steam enter your vagina or your yoni space and then once you do that it basically for like 20 minutes basically it activates your womb it cleanses her out and it really increases that procreative energy within your space and this is definitely something you want to get into i personally was sponsored by the goddess detox on one of my videos and i got introduced to her products so definitely check out the goddess detox because i know they have a dope product but you can also do your research on what herbs to use and stuff like that yoni eggs yoni eggs are the second thing Thing. I love yoni eggs. Yoni eggs are amazing. Yoni eggs changed my life. Before, I used to struggle with orgasms. I used to struggle with being able to experience good feelings during sex and good sensations during sexual intercourse. And it was a while that I didn't. I, I literally couldn't do it. I could not orgasm. I made a whole video about that where I couldn't orgasm. It, made, it was very vulnerable too. After 
the one thing that really sparked that ability to orgasm and to have these amazing orgasm experiences internally was yoni eggs, which are crystals that are polished into an egg. This is an ancient practice. They used to do this specifically in ancient China and probably Africa too, honestly. But they used to do this. <laughs> and you know, you take the egg, you insert it into the yoni space. And basically after time, after you do this practice for a little bit, for me it was two weeks, man, the stuff, the connection that I had with her because you create that mind-body connection. The crystal energy helps to heal the inside of your womb. And it's just a mutual beautiful practice because every time you walk around you got your yoni egg in you have those little tiny contractions which is and, and those contractions basically help you to feel more orgasmic potential strengthening your pelvic floor connecting you to your divine feminine energy it is amazing i would recommend it to everybody i do have these available on my store and they are for sale right now mysticmommy.com check out the rose quartz the stone of love yoni eggs my girl we send you instructions on how to use it and everything but i'm going to be making a video soon because I love yoni eggs ah every woman should have one but yeah definitely yoni eggs the next thing I would do is a yoni facial and yoni massages so yoni facials is where you just take the time to really give yourself a facial whether you know you cleanse her with products that you really love and enjoy you do a, some type of exfoliation you know do they have yoni facials at spas and stuff like that that you can do because honestly when you do that it's really honoring her and her energy you know making sure there's no ingrown hairs just taking care of her um, exfoliation taking some oils like a little bit of coconut oil and moisturizing her and the area surrounding her this can be very very beautiful when it comes to yoni self-care first of all just looking you know having her have a good appearance and stuff like that and understanding that your yoni is beautiful because I know a lot of people can be insecure about their yoni they're like um you know um mine looks different than hers or hers looks different than mine like is mine better or hers better like what does mine look weird understanding when you take care of something you learn to love it and you learn to nurture it so definitely i also recommend yoni facials and then yoni massages which are great they're transformative they were the second key for me to experience orgasmic bliss and definitely not just masturbating but exploring the internal parts of your vagina by massaging her with your fingers just going around the inside of your vaginal canal and massaging each and every part of her going deeper and deeper and deeper and understand that you could experience you know this is basically a practice of de-armoring because a lot of us go through so much we clench so much and we hold on to so much trauma that we don't even realize it so this could be a practice of really massaging the inside of her and not just for the sake of orgasm but for the sake of pleasure and releasing beautiful energy and just showing her that she's sacred. Okay, so the next step of this process to less painful periods is definitely, first of all, you might wanna consider your diet. So you might definitely wanna consider your diet. Um, for me, and I know for a lot of people, when you start going more plant-based, so you start eradicating less meat, having less meat in your diet, especially dairy, this could have a good a positive effect, not only for your skin, but also for your yoni and your periods because like I said animals you know think about it you know we kill animals and stuff like that well I don't I don't kill animals but there's people in the society that kill animals in usually horrific ways energy is transferred transferred it's not destroyed so in a sense if these animals die in horrific ways and in these bad ways and stuff like that you know you basically are eating that energy <laughs> you're eating animals that were tortured basically and then that can have a and since we're more sensitive as women we could tap into those things so you know whether you want to or not i definitely would recommend at least if you're not gonna go vegan then a week or so before your period make sure to eat less meat eat more fruits and vegetables and watch what happens and if that doesn't work and you're still experiencing pain i want you to try these natural alternatives because like i said having advil i noticed actually I had an allergic reaction to Advil one time and that's when I knew I had to like figure out what was going on one time when I was on my period because I realized when I was on my period I was even extra sensitive to the things I would be intaking okay because moon in the sixth house check out where your moon house is because that can tell you a lot of information on you know your your cycle and what you need to nurture yourself in your moon sign I want you to get into willow's bark 
and cramp bark which is literally the bark of a tree and you can find these supplements on Amazon I'll put a link in the description box down below that can be an affiliate link so just know that you're supporting me if you do that and basically if you have some will willows bark it's natural Advil it's natural Advil that doesn't have long-term negative effects on you and it still works and helps to release pain as well as cramp bark cramp bark is also an herb that you can get into that can help you to release the pain naturally without having to use the, har the harmful chemical chemicals in Advil. Next thing I want you to get into, red raspberry leaf. Red raspberry leaf is everything. It is, it is everything, especially when it comes to periods, any type of menstrual issues. Red raspberry leaf is an amazing herb. I remember when I first started tapping into it, as soon as I took some, like I think, honestly, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. <laughs> I tried smoking it for the first time. <laughs> And as soon as I did that, in my little rose quartz pipe, <laughs> I felt this tingling sensation in my womb. So that's how I knew. I was like, oh, wow. And then I started, you know, really using it as a tea mostly. And I just, I, I don't really smoke or anything like that, except for like sometimes some natural herbs, but not, you know, weed or anything. But I had some red raspberry leaf and it was all tingly and flowy. And I was like, oh my God, this is great. So, and then I looked it up and I noticed, yeah, it is known for connecting with the yoni space and healing the yoni space, menstrual issues issues and stuff like that so red raspberry leaf is a plus I also like motherwort motherwort is also really good for feminine energy as the name suggests mother's wort it's a very beautiful herb to also get into and dong kwai dong kwai can also have an amenagogue effect so basically with that being said it can oh my god my dog oh my dog wants to say hi to me hold on hi yes but yeah, it's a, um, it can basically have an effect of actually stimulating your period as well. So if you want to have your period earlier or you're a little scared and you're like, oh my God, like, I don't know if I use protection or I don't know if it was, you know, whatever the case is, you can use amenagogues like Don Kwai to help to stimulate the period. Ginger also does that as well, but we're going to make a whole video about that. We're going to make a whole video about natural birth control, baby, because y'all need to know. Y'all need to know. <laughs> yes but yeah y'all that is the end of this video this is the key to having painless period so you can step into your magic energy of the womb and understand who you are a woman a woman okay baby check out all of my beautiful courses that i'm going to be releasing about all this beautiful energy awake your inner goddess 2.0 comment down below how what tips that you've been doing and if it has been helping you and stuff like that and also make sure to check out my store mysticmommy.com like i said i'm selling those yoni eggs rose quartz ah! gia certified baby period <laughs> y'all i'll talk to y'all later bye